This morning, we are continuing our discussion about breast cancer. Radiation therapy has an important role in treating all stages. It may be recommended for people with stage zero through stage three breast cancer after a lumpectomy or mastectomy to decrease the risk of cancer recurrence. Joining me now is Dr. Laura Vallow, a radiation oncologist from Mayo Clinic. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So do most breast cancer patients require radiation? So that's a great question. And everybody, um, all the different patients have different um, needs or levels for the use of radiation. So it can frequently be part of the treatment plan in patients who have a lumpectomy or breast conserving surgery. It can occasionally be added even after a mastectomy in patients that have a high risk of cancer recurrence. Sometimes we also include the regional lymphatics in the radiation field uh, if there's evidence of lymph node positivity. So all of those, um, those treatment options are really the ultimate goal is to decrease the cancer risk for that patient, either in the breast, on the chest wall, or in the lymph nodes. Can you walk us through a little bit further, what does it mean to receive radiation? Right, so radiation therapy uses targeted high energy x-rays. This destroys undetectable cancer cells and reduces the risk of cancer recurrence. Uh, there are various ways that radiation therapy is delivered. The most common way for breast cancer is with external beam radiation therapy. And that is where a linear accelerator is the, is the machine that we used. It generates high energy x-ray beams that are then targeted to the patient's particular site. Um, receiving external beam radiation therapy is much like getting an x-ray, aside from the fact that the daily setup is a little bit more um, particular because the patients have to be in perfect positioning prior to treatment. Um, radiation therapy for breast cancer patients is typically given um, through a prescribed course. The treatments are delivered daily. Each treatment takes about 15 to 30 minutes to deliver, and the total number of treatments really varies depending on the clinical situation of each patient. And doctor, technology seems to always be advancing, especially in the medical field. How is radiation therapy benefiting from that? So we've seen amazing um, changes over the last 10 years. We started out with standard two-dimensional planning, and as technology improved, we evolved to three-dimensional planning. And now, taking that a step further, we utilize a technology called IMRT, and that's an acronym that stands for Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy. And this is a way that we can design the treatment more specifically for the contours of the individual patient's anatomy. By doing this treatment planning, we can minimize the risk to the underlying normal structures, particularly the lung and the heart. We also have other technologies that we've developed and, and utilized here at Mayo Clinic, and one is called respiratory gating. And that is a way of delivering the radiation therapy in synchrony with the breathing cycle. As a patient takes a deep breath, the heart actually moves away from the radiation field. So by tracking that breathing and delivering the treatment uh, synchronized with the breathing cycle, we can further spare the underlying heart. Dr. Laura Vallow, thank you so much for being with us this morning and sharing all that very important information. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And to find this story and more about detection and treatments, go to our website, newsforjax.com. Just click on the Breast Cancer Awareness tab under the Features section.